Hi, my name is James Moore. I'm an ex-resident of Step by Step and uh, just wanted to give you a bit of an overview of my story, the assistance that I got with Step by Step and to let you know where I am today. So I grew up um, in a broken home. My mum and dad divorced when I was about four or five years old. Um, dad got custody of my sister and I and um, my mum, she was quite absent a lot of the time. Um, cut a long story short, I stayed with my dad till I was about 10 or 11. Um, he got almost married to a new girlfriend and um, she was very controlling. Um, I didn't like that at all, I wasn't used to it and I decided to quite literally get on my bike and run away when I was 12. Um, I think before that, as every kid does, I think I probably said I was going to run away and got to the doorstep, but this time I actually got on my bike um, and ran away to live with my mum and her husband um, at the time. For me, I thought the grass was going to be a lot greener on the other side. Um, I thought freedom, no more uh, restraints or anything like that at all. Um, but what actually transpired, what I didn't realise was my mum was an alcoholic. So mum and I ended up um, ended up actually in quite a number of different um, hostels and um, sort of protection units I suppose as mum went through domestic violence through that relationship um, I ended up getting in fights with her husband and her son because they both beat her up um, so it was very 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 abusive um, I wasn't a fighter in any stretch of the imagination as a kid um, I was pretty shy pretty timid but unfortunately I had to defend my mum um, it was really tough. Mum was with him for about two or three years. She was very absent a lot of the time as well. Um, she had quite often run away herself, um, disappear, and I would get a phone call saying that she's in Winchester um, in a, a women's protection unit or something along those lines. Um, something that it was really, I was struggling with a lot because the stepdad, I obviously didn't like him at all um, because of how abusive he was to my mum and to myself. Um, and it just was not a healthy environment at all. So mum ended up staying with him for about two or three years. Her drinking progressively got Mum and I, uh, we left uh, probably about two or three years into that um, very violent relationship that she was in. And um, we were effectively homeless, but were housed by the council um, in a, a protective accommodation for women and children um, in Aldershot as well. We stayed there for probably about six months or so, um, potentially a year. My education literally fell by the wayside completely. Um, when I was in secondary school and I lived with my dad, uh, I was predicted top grades, I was in the top classes at school and all sorts of things, but because of the journey that I was going down, my education just literally fell, fell by the wayside completely. Um, my school attendance was about 17% from memory. Social services had to get called in and all sorts because my secondary school was in Farnborough and mum and I were living in so as much as sometimes I rode my bike all the way to Farnborough to get to school, it wasn't very consistent. Um, so anyway, we then actually ended up getting a flat through the council, um, Mum and I. And I remember very well actually, like it was yesterday, um, the bailiffs came knocking on the door. And um, I think it was about 8 o'clock in the morning, Mum was still fast asleep um, and evicted us. So I didn't have a clue what to do in any stretch of the imagination. Mum said that she was going to come back and unfortunately she didn't. So I still remember to this day sitting on the wall with a bag on my back, um, not knowing where Mum was or what to do. So I felt ashamed, I felt embarrassed, I felt scared, I think I felt every emotion physically possible um, during that period, quite betrayed, quite hurt. Um, I couldn't, I didn't want to phone my friends because I felt so embarrassed. So uh, I ended up phoning my sister and my dad on a reverse charge call. Hadn't seen them for about four or five years um, because I wasn't actually allowed back in my dad's house because of his girlfriend since I ran away. Um, it was literally the end of the driveway um, was where I could go. So plucked up the courage, called them. Um, I think my dad from memory phoned social services and they recommended um, step by step at the time called Emmaus Projects and um, they didn't have any space at that time so uh, I still remember to this day Naomi who was working here she gave me a sleeping bag uh, I slept rough for a couple of days and slept on my dad's office floor uh, quite literally under his desk smuggled me into his work for a couple of days um, and then we got the phone call to say that there was a space at step by step 
Um, I was 16 at the time, so over half my lifetime ago, which makes me feel very old. Um, but as I say, every single emotion possible I went through. Um, I was angry, I was hurt, I felt betrayed, not only by my mum, but also my dad, from the situation that I was put into. Um, you know, I was pointing fingers at everybody in that sense because of how it made me feel. Um, I went completely off the rails for a little period of time, um, doing drugs, nothing hardcore, but smoked a bit of weed and stuff like that to try and um, stop my mind, really, from spiralling. Um, I then really had to take myself accountable or hold myself accountable because, as I say, I was pointing fingers at everybody. Um, my dad, my mum, etc, etc, uh, for the situation that I was put into. But I realised that it's actually my responsibility for how my future um, lies and what I actually go to achieve in my life. It's quite lucky that from a young age, dad instilled a really, really good work ethic in me. Always did. Um, we even, like cleaning the house and all that sort of stuff, as silly as it was, and I hated it back then. I pushed back many, many, many times. Um, but it really instilled a strong work ethic in me. Um, and that, along with the help that I got here from the key workers, the staff and Step by Step, really helped me build my confidence because I was completely rock bottom. I didn't trust anybody. Um, I, I didn't want help for a period of time. But as I say, when the penny dropped and I realised this is actually down to me and I have to take the help that I've got here, this is an amazing opportunity for me. Um, I really did. And I ended up, funnily enough, I was signing on for a little while in the job centre um, for benefits because didn't have any money. And then I ended up getting a job in the job centre, would you believe it? Which was a little bit awkward in some ways because I was signing on the people that I was living with. <laughs> so there was a conflict of interest in some ways there. Um, but that work really helped me gain confidence as well because I was progressing um, myself, my confidence was growing. I was actually you know, making a bit of an impact to, to some degree and that was recognised in step by step. So I went through the different phases back then, or different steps, whereby I would move to a different accommodation which would have effectively lower rules so you'd have more freedom. And that kept inspiring me, inspiring me because I had targets, I had goals, I had things to aim for and my key worker would always sit and go through them with me as well. Um, would track my progress, where I'm at, how I felt and all that sort of stuff. Um, at the beginning I really struggled with being open and talking about it. I think it was partly masculinity, um, which is silly, I've learned now. Um, but I embraced that and opened up and it really, really, really helped me grow. And I can't even really put into words how much it did from going from you know, an angry, upset, emotional boy, which I was then, it really helped grow my confidence and actually start becoming a man um, at 16, 17 years old. And I progressed through, got my own uh, studio flat with Step by Step, um, and then moved into, probably after about six months, um, into an actual flat as well, which was owned by Step by Step, which that helped me gain a lot, even more confidence actually, um, because it was mine at the time, it was my space. Um, and it really, really, really did help me to, to, to the nth degree in many ways. And I then actually got in a position where I had enough money to go and move out. Um, I lived with a friend for probably about a year or something like that. We shared a, a bungalow um, in Fleet, which was absolutely brilliant. I graduated effectively from step by step. Um, I then, as my confidence was improving, I then actually got a, um, a job in recruitment working for a big international recruitment company. Stayed there for about six to 12 months. Um, I didn't really think recruitment was my thing, but 13 years down the line, 14 years actually, down the line, um, I've now progressed up to being an associate director of the recruitment company, Energy People, that I uh, very proudly work for now. Um, that saw me over the space of 14 years. I spent a lot of time in Dubai. Um, I travel back and forth every three months or so um, for a week at a time on business development trips, um, which from someone two years before was sleeping on a park bench, I never, ever, 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 ever thought that would be something that was possible. Um, and something that drove me all the time was having, I suppose, a fear of failure to some degree of not wanting to be where I was. Um, and that's something that's been instilled in me ever since. 
Um, as I say, I've now progressed up to being an associate director of the business um, and earlier this year I was approached by Step by Step to become a trustee director, which I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, am so humbled to have been invited to, to be on the board. Um, something that's so important for me is the journey that I've had here and the help that I got from everybody. Um, and to be able to give back, to, for me, that's so powerful. It gives me so much more fulfillment to help effectively the running of the charity, the decisions that are made. And my goal is to provide inspiration to the people that are here, um, to raise awareness, a lot of awareness about Step by Step and the wonderful things we do. And also, for me, is to give back and give an insight into really to the board of the emotions that people go through when they're here because with respect I think it's quite hard to grasp that on the emotional roller coaster that you go through as a teenager. Um, whatever your situation is, whatever your background, to be in that position where you're homeless and alone, it's not easy. So my real goal as I say is to give an insight to the board and that motivate the people that are here, spread awareness um, and make an impact.